uh, chapter 24, internal finance. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about finance, finance, it means money. How you are able to source for fund. Mm -hmm. That is finance. So finance is the disbursement of fund from the surplus unit to a deficit unit. What I mean by a surplus unit is where you have it so much, to, uh, that is surplus, to where you don't have it at all, or to where you need it, that deficit unit. Do you understand the difference between surplus and deficit unit now? Do you understand? A surplus unit means where there's a lot of money that is not useful. Deficit unit is where you need it, that you don't have it. So you need money to finance, you say you need the money to finance a project. So the project is the deficit unit. Do you understand? The money that you need from that firm, that individual, that bank, to be able to finance that project in that place is what we call surplus. Mm -hmm. So finance is what's the, uh, the disbursement mm -hmm. of funds from a surplus unit where you have it so much mm -hmm. to a deficit unit where you have it less. Is it clear? So, business business need, businesses need finance. One, to get business started. So, to set up a business, you need finance. Any business, new business, you need to finance it, you need money. Two, to purchase equipment, premises, and raw materials. If you need to purchase raw materials, if you need to buy equipment, if you need to buy land, if you need to buy factory, you need finance. That's the second one. The third one, to fund expansion. That means, when you talk about expansion, it could mean more workers. It could mean increase in equipment. It could mean larger premises. These are what we call expansion. I think it's clear. So you need finance to fund expansion. So these are the three things you need finance to do. Do you get it? All these three things are part of what we call expenditure. They are what? Expenditure. So, because they are expenditures, we can categorize them into two. They can be capital expenditure or revenue expenditure. Are you with me? So when we talk about capital expenditure, it means money spent on resources that could last more than a year. You don't know what capital expenditure is now. They are money spent on non-current assets like land, premises, equipment, machinery, motor vehicle, computers, laptops. They are all capital expenditure. Is it clear? Then we go to revenue expenditure. So when we talk about revenue expenditure, these are payments made on sales of goods and services. So your daily activity as a business, you run the business every day, right? So the money you spend daily, on that business to function is what we call revenue expenditure. Mm -hmm. Example is wages you pay to your workers, the stamps, ta transport fare, these are revenue expenditures. Is it clear? Even maintenance, the asset you bought, you have to maintain it, right? Mm -hmm. The equipment you bought, you have to maintain it. So the amount of money you spend on maintaining those equipment, they are all revenue expenditure. Yes. The equipment itself is a capital expenditure. Is it clear? Then, internal finance, which is the topic anyway. So when I talk about internal finance, it means the money generated within the business. That means the business generates this money. That's why we call it internal finance. Is it clear? So what are the types of or sources of internal finance? One, owner's capital. What is capital? Capital is the money the owner of the business gives to the business. But the business has to return it. That's why we call it capital. If it belongs to the business, it's not a capital, it's an asset. And if it belongs to third party, then it is a liability. But if it belongs, if it belongs to the owner of the business, then it is called capital. So most of the time, the owner of the business takes money from the business too. For personal use. We call it drawings. Is it clear? I think you understand the difference between capital and drawings now. Capital is money given to the business by the owner of the business. Drawings are the money taken from the business for personal use by the owner of the business. Is it clear? So, owner's capital is one of the ways in which a business can source for finance internally. 
So what are the type of owner's capital we're talking about? One, your personal savings. The money you have in your bank account. You could put it into the business. It's, it's, an, owner, it's an owner's capital. Two, if maybe you are out of job, you lost your job and you are being paid redundancy fee. If you are being paid redundancy payment, you can put it as an investment into the business. It's an owner's capital. Is owner's capital clear? Is an, owner's capital is what? A source of internal finance. Two, retained profits. So when you talk about retained profits, it means profit after tax. So this is the profit after tax that is put back into the business and not returned to the owner. So retained, retained profit means the profit you made after tax. You get the profit from uh, your income statement. We call it income statement. So the profit in the income statement, you take it to your statement of financial position. So in the statement of financial position, you add it to your capital. Do you get it? So when you do that, that's what we call retained profit. Is retained profit clear? Yes. So that's about that. So what are the advantages of retained profit? Number one, it is the quickest, quickest source of finance. Why? Because the retained profit is already in the bank. It's there. You are just going there. It's just for you to go and take it up. Mm -hmm. Because it's, you have accounted for the business. The business has made profit. And if you are saying the business has made profit, it is seen. It is recorded. Do you understand? Do you get what I'm saying here? Great. And in, in accounting, there is what we call matching concept. Mm -hmm. The profit of this accounting year must be matched with the cost of this accounting year. So it means that if you have made profit this year, it means that you have done all the transactions for this year. Is it, get, okay, is it got enough? Another advantage is that the business doesn't have to pay any interest because it's a retained profit. So you don't have to pay any administrative charges or interest. You pay nothing. So it is cheap. Is it clear? But what are the problems of uh, retained profit? One, a business that is starting up, a new business does not have retained profit. Yes or no? So it's, it's a problem. For a new business, a new business would not be able to use the retained profit because it's just starting up. So it cannot be returned to the owners of the business. If put into the business, you can't give it back to the owners because it's called retained profit. Are you with me? The third one, shareholders may likely receive lower dividends. That's opportunity cost. What do I call it? Opportunity cost. Why? Because putting the money into the business, putting the profit into the business, meant that the dividend holders, that means the shareholders, will, will receive lower dividends. Dividend is a share of profit. So if you are putting certain profit into the business, it means profit that will be going, that will be going to the owners will be less. Is it clear? Then the third form of internal finance is sale of assets. Sale of assets. Mm -hmm. What are, when you talk about sales of sale of assets, mm -hmm. it means assets that the business doesn't want to use anymore. They are they are not used anymore by the business, so they are just there. They are, they don't have value for the business again, so they can be sold. Like you see, when you go to some companies, you see some cars that are there. Mm -hmm. They're not using them anymore. So those cars, they could sell them. They are unwanted assets. So when you sell these unwanted assets, it could become a source of internal finance, which is called sale of assets. Is it clear? So a business can generate finance, can generate money. When it sells, the asset it does not use anymore. Is it clear? So what are the advantages of internal finance? One. The capital is available immediately. Why is it available immediately? Because you're talking about personal savings. The service is in the bank. So you're just going there to withdraw it, yes or no? Yes. You're talking about retained profit. It has been accounted for. Mm -hmm. It's already there in the bank waiting to be used. Yes, so that means the, when you talk about internal finance, it is always, always ready. It's always available immediately. Is it clear? The second advantage, it is cheap. Why is it cheap? It is cheap because you don't have to pay interest on it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's your money. It's the business money. Mm -hmm. So you're not paying anyone any, any interest. Unlike, when, unlike uh, ex external source of finance, that maybe you have to borrow or take a loan. For a loan, you have to pay. 
interest or administrative charges. But this you don't do in internal source of finance, which means your cost will be less, your profit will be high. Is it clear? The business will not be subject to credit check. What is a credit check? A credit check is checking the credit worthiness or checking the credit history of a borrower. So if you want to borrow money from using external source now, if you want to borrow money, the lender will check your history on credit. What, company, what banks have you borrowed from? What are the history you have? What are your paying back methods? Are you consistent in paying back? All these things I will call checking history. Is it clear? So they are called credit check. A so credit check is what? Checking the history of a borrower. Checking the credit history of a borrower. By who? By the lender. Is it clear? You know who the lender is? The person, the business giving you the money. Yeah. Then the last one. There's no need to involve third parties. It's the business money. You don't have to involve anybody. You don't need a guarantor. It's the business money. So you don't need to involve those that are not part of, those that are not the owners of the business or they are not part of the business. These are the advantages of internal source of finance. Is it clear? It has its own, it has its own problems too. One, internal finance can be limited. When you talk about being limited, it means it might not be enough. Especially profit or uh, retained profit. The business might not make sufficient profit that will, be able, that will enable it to put it into the business. If you don't make more profit, if you don't make much profit, how can you put it into the business? Do you understand what I'm talking about here? So, internal source of finance is so limited. The sources are limited. Just owner's capital, personal savings, sales of, sale of assets. Just three. And all these things are limited. You might not be able to make, if you don't make a lot of profit, if you don't even have unwanted assets, how can you sell them? Is it clear? So, internal sources of finance cannot be subtracted from business profits to reduce tax owed. Tax owed. What are we saying here? The profit would have been after your tax. Yes or no? So it means that whatever the internal source you are talking about, profit, tax would have been deducted from them. Unlike external sources. External sources, you don't deduct tax. The money comes after your business transaction. So you would have finished your own business because it will be recorded in your, in your statement of financial position. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Your expenses here, the expenses you make here or your revenue, will be recorded in your income statement. But if you take external source of finance, you don't need to deduct it from your tax. You don't need to take tax away from it. Mm -hmm. So that means whatever internal source it is that you want to use, as your source, as your as a as a, mes, as a means of finance, tax would have been deducted from it. Is it clear? And the last one, internal finance can be inflexible as there are wide variety of funding options for external sources. For internal finance, I told you, you have only four ways: either you sell your assets that you are not using anymore, you use your personal savings, you take money from owners. And the last one you could do is to sell your stocks. Mm -hmm. So, unlike external source, you could take money from bank, you could, you could sell shares. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things you could do, there are a lot of ways you could source of finance externally than internal source. So what, what does that imply? It means that internal source is what? Inflexible. Inflexible. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes. And the last one, it involves opportunity cost. Why? For example, for instance, the, uh, the retained profit. If you want to put more, if you want to put more for profit into the business, it would have meant that the shareholders would get less profits. Mm -hmm. That's opportunity cost. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Do you have any question about it? No, now, just forget about the activity. Just go to the.